China's Teletan Solar Park covers 162 square miles and is now the biggest solar farm in the world. It would take you probably about two months just to walk around the outside of it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and this is the most incredible solar farm anywhere in the world. It's also easily the biggest. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. The solar park lives on the Tibetan Plateau, which is about 10,000 feet above sea level. It's about 3,500 meters elevation. It's located in the Alpine Desert that is Gonghe County in Qinghai Province in China. High voltage power lines deliver the energy to businesses and homes that are over 1,000 miles away. There are also wind turbines in the area and hydroelectric dams around the plateau. According to Our World in Data, China released about 8.55 billion tonnes or 942 billion tonnes of carbon dioxide in 2023. But this new technology China is installing, and it's installing solar farms and enormous batteries all across China, will help to reduce its pollution and provide cheaper, cleaner energy to many people. One of the biggest problems China has faced has been smog. And some of that smog is from cars, from trucks, some of it's from power plants, some of it's from factories, China is going to huge lengths to improve this situation because its healthcare costs have been astronomical. When you've got a population of nearly 1.4 billion people and you know half of them are breathing in toxic fumes, well, China discovered that this was causing multi, 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 hundreds of billions of dollars of healthcare costs. And this was a long time ago, China discovered this. And that has been part of the reason why they've put the country on the fast track to eliminate the pollutants in the air. Now, this solar park is incredibly efficient because of how high up it actually is. This is possible because the air up there in the sky is thinner and the region's bright sunshine allows the solar panels to harvest an immense amount of energy for many people. The New York Times said that the solar and wind power that the park produces costs 40% less than coal-fired power. And considering the cost of batteries has come down so much in the past couple of years, solar and batteries is much cheaper now to install and to operate than coal power plants. This renewable energy is also coming in handy to power China's high-speed trains and electric cars. And in fact, China's energy use over the past 12 months has grown by approximately 15%, but their emissions have not grown. In fact, they've gone down by about 1%. Guys, if you're intrigued by the benefits of savings or reduced air pollution, embracing solar is honestly the best decision that I've ever made. And I think it might be yours as well. In terms of saving money, it's enormous. Putting solar panels on your home is the most common sense option. It's affordable. It makes total sense. Here in Australia, I used Resync Solar to install my solar panels on my roof. I don't make any money, by the way, from telling you about this. Just my experience with them, that company has been exceptional. So if you're in Australia, I recommend at least getting a quote from them. If you're in the US or you're in Europe, definitely get a quote for solar because you will save a lot of money over the life of your solar system. The New York Times said that this solar park will continue to expand over the next three years. It'll grow to 10 times the size of Manhattan, as opposed to its current seven times the size. Its 16,930 megawatt power capacity could power every home in Chicago, every single home in Chicago, but it's going to get bigger. Crazy. Free land incentives have encouraged companies to build solar farms in Western Chinese provinces, and companies are building even higher above sea level as well because it's the solar panels there are more efficient in those higher elevations. One company near Lhasa, Tibet, built a 150 megawatt farm at 17,000 feet elevation. That's um, it's nearly 6,000 meters high, and it's the highest solar farm in the world. Guys, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I reckon this is just awesome. I love these stories. 
And the thing is, I've done numerous videos on these massive solar farms, but it's changing every year. Or probably every six months, there's a new world's biggest solar farm. And it's awesome. It's like they're one-upping each other, not intentionally, but as solar gets cheaper and as batteries get cheaper, and as the efficiency of both of those products improves, as their lifespan improves, the economics of solar and batteries just can continue to get better and better. Imagine how good the economics are going to be in 50 years from now. Our children are going to inherit what is going to be a pretty amazing world. The world won't be using fossil fuel simply because it's financially diabolical. It's just a, a, a numbers game here. Anyone running a coal power plant anywhere in the world, even nuclear, is going to face these kind of costs. Whereas, you know, these costs for the, those types of fuels continue to increase, whereas the costs for batteries and solar are continuing to go down every single year. Michelle Lewis has just reported that the world's largest solar farm has just come online. It's actually in China. Now, I want to point out, guys, some of the biggest solar farms in the world have actually just come online in a number of countries, in particular, though, in the United States, where some of the biggest solar farms you can possibly imagine, I mean, literally, Go to these solar farms, you can't see anything except solar panels. Look around you for miles. It's just solar everywhere covering these fields. Now, by the way, you can actually have um, farm animals on these fields as well. These solar panels actually essentially act as shade for farm animals. However, the world's largest solar farm, how big is it actually? Well, it's insane. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to see you. The IEA has just said that it's very likely, in spite of the media continually basically bullshitting to us, telling us, no, nah, no, nah, no, nah, renewables are not doing that well. Coal is skyrocketing. Um, you know, we're, we're nowhere near getting anywhere near the targets of the Parry Agreement to triple renewables. They're saying, the IEA is saying, actually, that's not actually true. So very likely we will, in fact, meet those goals by 2030. It's thanks to these enormous solar farms in conjunction with, well, Chinese energy storage or batteries. The world's largest solar farm is actually located in Xinjiang, and that is connected to China's main grid. The five gigawatt, 200,000 acres, 200,000 acres, I mean, guys, most farms are not even a fraction of that size. It's outside of Xinjiang's capital. And the state asset regulators website cited the Power Construction Corporation of China said it came online on Monday. Now, how much power, how many homes could you actually power? Well, this solar farm will generate 6.1 billion kilowatt hours, 6.1 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually. That's more than several coal power plants. If you assume an EV uses around 3,000 kilowatt hours per year, now I use less than that, but you know, that's say an average, then 6.1 kilowatt hours could power 2 million electric cars every year. In fact, a bit more than 2 million 